Hi, I'm Dr. Naveen Vahenga, and I'm the Director of Simulation for the Anesthesia Department here at UT. I'd like to share with you some of the experiences our faculty, residents, and students get doing simulation. So basic simulation, uh, we usually have some topic that we're covering for the day uh, that we talk about with the PowerPoint. Uh, then we get a patient, uh, a case report, and then we discuss it as a group, just the residents, and then we'll divvy up roles. So someone is the attending, which is always kind of a little nerve-wracking, someone's the resident. Uh, then we have people on the sidelines that are extra help if we need them, or, or they'll talk about our plan to the attending. So T-Mode, uh, it's the introduction to anesthesia. It's to get you comfortable in the operating room um, so you're ready to you know, start cases in the morning. Um, overall, it's a great experience. Uh, all the attendings here are uh, really nice. They understand you're a beginner. Um, they know that you're learning. It's gonna take you know, some time before you're comfortable. When we have procedural workshops, um, it gives you a good opportunity to practice doing a couple um, different things, uh, using ultrasound machines to uh, practice putting in central lines, arterial lines, um, peripheral IVs, um, as well as also um, you know, getting our hands on fiber optic scopes, um, which I think is a very valuable um, practice uh, just to be comfortable with it in your hands and how it works. Um, as well as having practice of doing, you know, your standard um, intubations as well. Um, so it was, it was a good, good workshop to um, get used to the hand motions. I think it was, it was very helpful to, to have those experiences. Yeah, I like the pig trachea a lot. You know, we're not going to get a lot of opportunities to practice um, crikes, and so the pig trachea is an excellent way to practice. And I think the anatomy is, you know, it's similar to a humans, um, yeah, it, it's nice to be able to feel, you know, the structures itself. It, it's, I think it's better um, to practice on the pig trachea than, than anything else. One of the ones that sticks with me the most is we had a, a pretty much healthy young patient with a history of asthma, and then all of a sudden during our case, he's not oxygenating well, um, vitals are not looking great, and we, like, for the life of us, could not figure out what was going on and we're not, it's not ventilating well, and you're, you were about to push the code button, and we realized, oh yeah, he's got asthma, we need some inhalers, a bronchospasm. <laughs> so that really stuck with me, because I completely forgot. Everything was fun in sim lab, but uh, we ended up doing a, a cardiac arrest in I think our first sim lab, and we, uh, we, we got him back to life, but that, I mean, it was a good experience, because we're not gonna experience that all the time. So it's, it's good to have, you know, to go through it in your mind first, um, so you have an idea in your head of what to do, because when it actually happens, um, your adrenaline's gonna be pumping, you may not, you know, be thinking, you know, what do I do next, what do I do next? So Simlab helps you get uh, prepared uh, for those situations. The program is very friendly, um, has a lot of good camaraderie. Um, I love my, still call us our intern group, but we're now CA1. <laughs> uh, we're very tight, and that's what really sold me on this program, was, was having this support system. It makes a huge difference, I think. We've got a lot of unique simulations, workshops, and projects here in the anesthesia department. Thank you for checking us out, and I hope to see you soon.